Hey guys, it's Shaw here, the Tech Borg. It's been about a couple, three weeks since I made a video. <coughs> Sorry about that. It's been about three weeks since I made a video, and I've made a video now because some some people have requested I made a scoring system. So this is the first part of my video on scoring systems. This is gonna be a really simple scoring system. So we're just gonna have like a list. So now we're gonna have a list of top scores. So we're just gonna make like an, a leaderboard thing. So we're gonna have top scores, and then we're gonna have that equal to 500, 400, 300. Um, you can set that as any random number if you want, uh, but for simplicity's sake, I just picked uh, 500, 400, and 300. You can pick anything. Um, so let's say now we had our scoring system. Now we had this top scores. We have our output. So the top scores, we want to know what the top scores are. So if I run this, we know what the top scores are. Um, but let's say we had another contestant, and over here you have your uh, code, uh, your game code. So let's say you made some game, the contestant gets some points in the game and yeah so let's say now the contestant exceeds your top scores so how can you do this well if top scores now if top scores uh sorry first of all we have to actually get the value of the score so i'll call it new score equals and then let's say you accumulate all the score of the contestant right at the end so you get your new score your as in your final score of the game so let's say we got it as um 350 so now if new score is so first we have to check make sure that it's not bigger than this this or this. we have to check which range is in is it greater than 300 and less than 400 in that case it will replace the 300 and not the 400 etc so we have to do three different cases so if we do that so if new score is a less than uh sorry if new score is greater than the smallest one of the top scores which is top scores and then two because remember two is the index so we're saying top so we're calling out the list top scores which is here and then now we're picking out the specific list uh index which is 300 two re refers to 300 in coding remember don't forget that and now we have to do and new score so we have to make sure that the new score is actually less than um 400 so that's top scores and then one and new score is less than uh, top scores. We have to make sure all of these are satisfied because let's say your new score was 500. It would still satisfy this condition, but then it wouldn't satisfy these conditions which are needed to make sure that it replaces the correct uh, term in this, uh, in this list. So now uh, we got that. And now if I just do this and if I do um, so new score, sorry, uh, top scores and then if i pick the last one two because we know that it got higher than 300 but it's not higher than 400 and 500 right so we let that equal to our new score and that's really it guys so now if i just uh print it so print okay the new scores are and then over here we just have our list so there we go now if i save this and run this and Okay, we've got an error not supported between instances. Of, okay, so if I go to file line, uh, okay, okay. So what's happened is they Python thought that we gave um, um, a string imp, uh, input. So if I just show you, so as you can see, it says over here. So I'm going to show you how you go about finding, like, as in solving issues um, that you may have with the code. See this? Sorry, I'm just trying to expand this. So, yep, yeah, so. How, how about going this uh, issue is I've just basically forgotten the simple things um, So I just had a look at it for a couple of minutes. And I realized that I just forgot the basics So for example, I forgot to index it correctly. So in this last line over here I didn't specify the index so it's meant to be zero because you want to make sure that it's less than 500 Which is our first value. So now if I run this as you can see it's working and great. That's really it um, So we've basically got a scoring system now if you want to do one for each one of them. I'm not gonna like do one for each one of them. I'm just gonna literally copy paste them and then just flip the sign. So if it's if the new score is greater than the tops the 300 and it's greater than this one, then you want it to replace the I'd say the first the well if it's greater than 300 and it's greater than um 400. Sorry, if it's greater than 300, but it's less than, but it's less than 500, but it's greater than 400, then you have to let the 400 go to the 300 and let your new score become 400, if that makes sense. So we have to, first of all, copy the contents of 400 into 300 
Does that make sense? So if we do top scores, so like that, equals uh, top scores specifically our uh, two, no, sorry, one equals top score, sorry, other way around. So we want the contents of two, as in 300, to become the contents of one, basically. So two one there you go so what it's going to do is it's going to replace all the contents of two into one if the new score exceeds 300 and 400 because then because then remember if your score is like 450 then this will become 450 and this will become 400 if that makes sense so essentially this value will be pushed down by one which is what we're doing here and then after that it's just the normal update of the top scores uh, of two becoming the top scores of Sorry, that's just new score. Sorry, so it just gets confusing with all these scores. Score, there we go. So now, if I let change this to 450, hopefully it will work. So if I run this now, as you can see, okay, it's the same for some odd reason. Um, we will update the new scores. Yeah, so I found the error. Um, where it was is that I had left my tops, uh, the print over here just after this so it didn't actually output everything after this so if I just undo everything to show you guys so if I put that back there you go see so I have this print line here so if I just so if I just sorry if I just copy and paste that to underneath so it does it for everything so yeah that would be great so if I save this now and run it it should work and as you can see it is working although for some reason the 450 has gone to the right ones oh, okay right two up top scores of the second oh sorry it's meant to be one right of course so if i run this now it should work and as you can see it's working so we've so we so the person's contestants played our game they've got a score of 450 well the 400 gets pushed down to the third one and 450 is the new replacement similarly now for this one we'd have to do something similar so now let's say they get higher than all the scores so let's change this to a greater than sign and let's change this to a greater than sign. Let's say now this the score is, uh, I don't know, 550, which is higher than all of them. Uh, so we satisfy this condition. Then we'll have to change the top score of 2 to 1 and 1 to 0. Sorry, yeah, 2 to 1 and 1 to 0. So if I copy this and I paste this here, well, we know that the new score uh, is actually in the 0th position because that's our high score then we want everything in the zeroth position to get copied into the first position right because remember this goes here and then this score goes here so if we just uh, then do top scores of uh, 1 equals top scores of 2 Although I see a problem with this because some doing this and then doing this will mean that zero will get copied into one, so this will go there, but it also end up copying there. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So if I run this now, so and as you can see, it copied five, so it did the five hundred fifty correctly as we wanted it to, but it didn't copy the contents from zero to one successfully, as you can see. And as you can see, I fixed it here. It's pretty straightforward. It was just literally I put it the wrong way. So it's meant to be obviously the one is equaling to the one in zero, and the one in two is equaling to the one in one. So one equals the zero, and two equals the one, and then this is our new score. So if I save this and run this, there is a problem, obviously. So what what's going on here is we've copied our contents from five hundred to this column over here correctly, but then this gets copied into there. So what's happening is we're getting five hundred, five hundred here. So one way to uh, work around this would be, well, I would just bring in uh, some kind of variable here. There might be an easy way if you can uh, comment in the section. I don't mind. Uh, I'll have a look at it. So u equals uh, your value, your top score. So before you even change the value, you just let u equal that. So if you let u equal, um, or actually, if we perform this step first, it won't affect it. So if we just do, sorry, if we just copy this. So as you can see, I've actually reversed it because remember, you want it to go from 2 to 1 and then you want that to go there and then your new score replaces this. I'm kind of getting to the end of my uh, uh, recording, so thank you guys for watching and there it is, it's working successfully. I'll be uploading a higher level one and thank you for watching guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe.